Come on, Tom. Two minutes, mate. Bet he's got away with that loads of times. We've all been there. It'd take no time at all to move that stuff. But why bother when it's such a simple job? It wouldn't be hard to move that lot and to get the right tower to do the job. But hey, time is money. And who wants to interrupt their work to get a pallet truck to move all of that gear when they can manage? Bet you wouldn't do that though, would you? You'd have to be mad to work up there and not be clipped on, wouldn't you? Ah! Uh, oh, that's my knee. Don't worry, I'll get some help. Poor bloke. Now he's on his way to A&E. That's cost him a day's pay, 140 quid, plus another couple of days off work, say around 280 quid. So the cost of not having the ladders in the right place is 420 quid. And it didn't have to happen. His so-called mate was watching him leaning over. What happened to see it, say it, sort it? What price do you put on a life? We were working on a job on a power station and the scaffold I was working with went to, went to climb in between the ladder beams. As he was halfway over, the ladder beam turned, he fell off the ladder beam, 10 foot high, his helmet came off and then his, ground, his head hit the ground. He died instant. If he'd been out on, everything would have been all right. I actually went to the guy's funeral and to go up there and see his wife and his kids and to see how broken hearted they were and to see 100 scaffolders all at his graveside crying was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. See it, say it, salt it, and that means you.